Instagram has become the standard for showing off your best work and for a lot of people in some cases, it's what they use for a portfolio. You'll quickly realize on Instagram that you need to have a grid that matches in style and theme and in colors. Sometimes that's quite hard to do because you really don't know how an image is gonna look in your grid around all the other images until you physically post it. I've been using this app for a while now and they haven't sponsored me or anything like that. This is literally an app that I use a lot and I really like and I figured some of you probably don't know about so I wanted to share it with you. This app has literally changed the way in which I plan out my grid. I can see everything in advance, test things out, move images around, see how it's all gonna look without physically posting anything to Instagram. So the app itself is called Preview, which is good because you preview your grid, uh, it's free. There is a monthly paid subscription version, which you can use if you want to. There's a couple of extra features. I'll talk about those in a bit, but I just use the free version. I haven't ever needed to use anything from the paid version. So it's really easy to use. You download it, you log in with your Instagram, you authorize the app to have permission to access your Instagram account. Now you're presented with your grid. This is what is on your Instagram feed currently. There's a little Instagram logo in the bottom corner of all the images that you're seeing on there. Those are ones that are already on your grid already. To add an image, to test it out, click on the plus symbol click on photos or video, you can add photos and videos. And then just select some images you wanna add in and try out. So let's go with that one. Let's go with uh, that one and then that one. Click done. You can do multiple images at once. You'll see then that they just appear into your feed. Actually, we've already used that one. So let's delete that one. And that's how you delete an image if you don't like it. Pretty easy, right? Let's go back and add another one. Uh, I don't know, let's add in that. All right, so now you've added images in there. You'll see that they don't actually have the little Instagram logo in there. That's because they're not posted on your feed. You can then literally click an image, drag it around and literally put it wherever you want it. You can't put things down into here because this is already posted, but any of the images that haven't been posted, you can completely move around and preview how they're gonna look. Now you can, of course, go to Instagram and then post the image if you decide that you like how it looks, but even easier, you can do it directly from the app. So let's say this little image of the clock tower here with a Canadian flag in the background, I wanna post it. Click on the image, click on the little button down the corner here. Don't know what the caption copied means, but this is how you do it. Click on post on Instagram. You can then pick between story and feed. If you wanna go on your story, you can do that, or feed, click on feed, and then next next and then this is where you'd add your captions and tagging people and then just proceed to post it like a regular Instagram picture. There's a couple of extra things built in as well if you want to use them. You can edit an image directly in the app if you click on it and then click on the little shutter icon there. It gives you a basic editor that you can edit within the app. If you click on the plus symbol there's some other things you can do as well. So if you want to do a carousel which is multiple images for one post you can do that. You can also repost an image from someone else's feed and if you want to take a photo or video directly in the app and then post it from there, you can do that too. If you wanna go one step further and start scheduling your posts so you can have them to come out every hour or every 10 a.m. on every day, you can do that. Click on the image that you wanna schedule, click on the little comment symbol, and you'll see there that it's presented with a few options. At the bottom there, you can see there's a schedule post. You can select exactly when you want that image to post. So all that stuff is in there if you wanna use it. I'll be honest, I just use it for previewing my grid. That's the biggest thing that has the most appeal to me and I really enjoy using it. It's a great app. There isn't any ads in there, even with the free version. It just works really well for what I need to use it for. As I said, there is a monthly paid version as well if you wanna use that. It can give you things like insights to images, a little bit more analytics. If you have a business or a creator account on Instagram, you can kind of view those things anyway, but there's the version inside the app if you wanna do that. If you use the monthly paid version, you can add more than one account too. So if you manage someone else's Instagram or if you have a couple of different Instagram pages, you can do that as part of the monthly paid subscription too. But for just planning out your grid, testing how things are gonna look, the free version works great. It's what I use it for. And honestly, I haven't really found anything out there that works quite as well as this. I tried out a few different apps and this is the one that works the best. As I said, this company isn't paying me. This video isn't sponsored. I'm not affiliated with them anyway. If you want it though, like emails down below. So yeah, that's it. I really just wanted to share with you guys what this app is, how I use it, because it makes a big difference in the way that I use my Instagram account. Helps hugely, might help you out too. So that is the preview app. Appreciate you watching today. You know what to do down below, all those things. Not gonna force you. I'll see you guys in the next one.